Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can have our stock ticker placed in our intranet site. So if you are developing, if you are a developer and building out your intranets, then uh, you must be knowing that uh, your company or your communication team wants to have stock ticker somewhere on your SharePoint side, intranet side. So today we are going to see a codeless solution to have a stock ticker running on your intranet. So you can see like I have this uh, on the right hand side I have my company stock running over here. So that's like XYZ and the index is uh, stock price is 33.3 up I have just written up but you can have up, up and down arrow so that uh, I can show you how you can do that. So it's a basically a codeless solution where we will be working with Power Automate and creating one list for uh, having stocks value and uh, then we will be customizing the SharePoint list view with a custom JSON and that JSON that list view we are going to place over here on our intranet. So you can squeeze the size of this based on like uh, whatever uh, space you are having on your intranet site. So let's take that look so initially for as getting any stock ticker price value we have to have one uh, service running so uh, there are many services which can give you ticker value the stock value Morningstar Yahoo Finance and there are many free available so for this demo I would be using one free available service that is given by this polygon IO so if you would like to have a look on this side you can have where you can get the stocks, values, currencies, cryptocurrencies and all these stuff you you are getting via this uh, Polygon IO service. So I have just uh, created my free account over this side and that gives me one subscription key. So using that subscription key, what we can do, we can uh, make a call, uh, 5 calls per minute for any API ticker. And there are various examples which are given over here. If you click it, so it will give you this uh, API the get API example how you can just construct this one and there are examples given below this uh, this API would look like this the API key you have to like uh, put in when you get it so there are uh, many free APIs available and there are many uh, the paid ones available but I think like for this stock ticking a ticker and uh, where we just want to have the stock current stock value so this free one would uh, suffice the need so you may also take try creating your account over here and just get your free api key and post that once you have your api key you need to ju just go to your power automate create one cloud flow and if you wish to like schedule this one then create a manual trigger for now and you can just Going forward, you can just schedule this one based on your trigger date and selected time and all that. Or you can just make that a scheduler itself, like running every minute. So in that fashion, you can make it. So I just skip that piece directly coming over here. So for calling any API, REST call uh, from our Power Automate, we have to use the HTTP Premium. So this action would give us the capability to call any URLs and if you wish to uh, create one custom connector for this calling this API you can do that so like creating a custom connector under the data custom connectors where you can just uh, specify the API key because if you wish not to uh, expose your API key over here within the URI then you can just simply create one custom connector. The, the users or the power users which are creating flow would be just seeing your custom connector uh, custom actions rather than this HTTP plain call so I have already created one custom connector video so you may take a look how you can create custom connectors I'll just uh, drop that into the description as well so for now like we are just directly making call so I'll just say get call and the URI I have already constructed that URI I'll just open it so this is my URI and this URI actually takes is in parameter, in parameter that uh, how much range you want so you can day, take a one day range, one minute range, one hourly range and as well as along with the date. 
so you can specify a date and uh, uh, the date range so how frequently you would like to poll that so once you get it once you have it you in the next step you have to create one list so i am there i have already have this stock view list i can just go to the my list view you can see in title i have that stock price and change this is a custom column where you can just keep up and down value based on that uh, you would be deciding like which background color or the which arrow icon you have you would be showing to the internet user so simple list but we will be creating custom view over it so that that custom view in turn we can use over here right so going back to our flow now i'll be using action update item where i'll be updating my this stock list from the value which i get from the previous step so this is my side and stock is my list id because i'm just doing that for on the top so i'll just pick the top one over here you need to construct the body i mean you need to extract the value of uh, current value of that stock price so in body response we'll be getting it so we we can construct that so i'll just go to dynamic content and pick this body so this body would give me the the action so in notepad i'll be just pasting it and now i'll be constructing the my response so i'll be getting my response into results and with that results i'll be getting c that is so if you see uh, if i just go back to my responses you can see like in the c field we get the current ticker value and results is a array which gives me all these values because i am pulling that for daily so it gives me 12 i mean like every hour early result so you can just have have a look on this but if we are pulling that per minute then we'll be again like we'll be having five calls per minute so you can just pick uh, the la latest one or the first one so based on your need you can just pick that one so from body i'm just removing this and going to my notepad so i've constructed this i'll be picking my zero the first value and in the expression i will just put that up so this title will be my this sticker value which i am getting from my this call and change up so based on your uh, value i mean like the current value and the open value you can decide like what text should be there so you have to construct one if statement and in if statement you need to pass on this query you you need to compare that uh, opening statement so let me just build that too as well in notepad first if my body is greater than the opening one then the text value would be up i mean the stock the stock is going up in that case and otherwise it's going down so this is a pretty simple expression so all right so we have constructed this the title which is results the ticker which we are getting and the change is up and down based on the opening and the current value of ticker so we are going to just name that stock update flow and saving it so i just uh, test run this flow manually all right so it just ran and we got the value into this and the and the current price ticker value was must be updated into my list yeah so i have my updated value is 159 and the direction was up right. so now as as you see like i have already created one view which shows my this uh, stock like this and this is the same view i'm going to insert into my internet home page so rather than making any custom call from my internet home page so consider example where your organization is not allowing building or making any custom calls or putting any custom web parts so this is a codeless solution where you can just place this stock ticker somewhere on your page so 
and going back to creating this view so i'll just create a new view so that we can be sure that uh, our new view also behaves the same way so i'm just naming this as stock ticker and making this public view and i've just selected that as gallery so that it should give me at least some initial the some initial schema uh, some json which i can customize so this json you can paste up in your notepad and you can see so whatever uh, we are looking at we got this uh, displayed over here so whatever i mean like if you don't wish to specify this up and down arrow you can just remove this element so that thing you can just do customization based on your wish i have created one schema the json schema based on my requirement so you can see like in child element devs which is the bigger one element so i actually put up my style for background color so if the change changes the column if change value is up then it should put light green and otherwise like it should put a, uh, a right uh, light red color so, uh, to depicting that stock is down and in the text content content where actually you would like to place so you can just have your this company's placeholder over here so let's say my company is apx and i'll just have this and based on the what title value is having you can uh, just place it and this changes the up and down so you can just replace that with the as we already replaced that with a background color but you can just replace that with a background image that of arrow up and down i'm just copying this one and pasting into this i'll also share this json in description so that you can directly use it so now you see like i have my this style got applied i'm just saving it and i'll just go to my company's internet home page i'll just edit the page i'll just delete this web part so that i can show you how i added this so over here you can just click on this insert and try to find list so it, this is my stock list and you can just add it this web part you can pick this stock ticker is the latest one which we just created and you can just hide these thing and apply so once you apply it it's and it, it started showing you the ticker piece so you can just uh, rename this our stock price sort of that and republish your page all right so in this three simple steps we were able to get our stock ticker placed on our company's internet home page without writing a single line of code so you need to just create one power automate have this api any api morningstar yahoo finance whatever api you would wish to use you can use and create one custom json view for your list and have that web part in place so i think like it would be useful for you if you are a developer and building out your internet page and if you do feel like it's a, a useful video for you then please do subscribe and drop your comments thanks for today